Hi, my name is Chris, and I like to make things. Here I am making an egg for a yummy breakfast. It seemed like a pretty normal morning, until it happened. I had an idea. Combine the strength of the regular top hat with the style of the mini top hat to create the ultimate top hat. All right, print out the pattern. Line the pages up where they overlap and tape them together. I like to do this on my kitchen window for better visibility. If you haven't already watched how to make a steampunk top hat and how to make a mini top hat, I recommend you do that now as there's no point going over the same details over and over. So, cut out your pattern. Trace onto your foam. Trace two of pattern piece A. Then trace two of pattern piece B and C. Call these B1 and C1. Now flip the paper over and trace two more each of pattern piece B and C and call those B2 and C2. That should give you 10 pieces to make up the band. Cut everything out and lay them out in this order. A, B1, C1, C2, B2, A, B1, C1, C2, B2. Nice. If you're wondering if you can use hot glue for these projects, here's your answer. Yes, you can. I like to glue 5 to 10 centimeters at a time, hold it in place until the glue cools, and then move on to the next 5 to 10 centimeters. It actually works quite well, and you don't have the stinkiness of contact cement. Win-win. Glue the next 5 to 10 centimeters, and repeat until you have a hat. Now the brim. Line up the center of the brim with the center of piece A and glue it on. Do the same with the opposite side. Find a spot halfway between the two you just glued and glue that down. Keep going until everything is glued. Now all that's left is the top piece, which is a tiny bit tricky because you want to cut with the knife angled. This is so that it will fit better into the tapered top of the hat. And glue it in the same way you did the brim. The front first, then the back, then each side, and then all the spaces in between. Lastly, you can heat up the brim with a blow dryer and curve it into the shape that you would like. Just be careful not to melt the hot glue, or you'll be starting over. Now go have some fun in your new top hat. So thanks for watching my video. If you have fun making your funky, funktastic top hat, if you would like to get this pattern, you can click on the link and away you go.